For newlyweds, they sure don't get to spend any quality time together. They're doing time, but they're not spending quality time together because Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell, um, within weeks of getting married in a lovely solitary ceremony on a beach in Hawaii, uh, found themselves embroiled in a pretty ugly murder case that became a double and then a triple murder case. First she was in the clink, then he was in the clink, and now it looks like within a couple of weeks both are set to be tried together. But Chad Daybell wants to sever. I don't know about the marriage, but definitely the trial. And that's why he went into court today. And Lori was there too. And wow, they don't get to see each other very much, but when they do, they're in shackles and they don't get to sit together. Um, we are told two different reports. One is that they did look at each other and smile. Another is that they didn't. Interesting, court watchers in the same courtroom. But if you don't know this case of the doomsday cult mom, who allegedly killed her two children, and the cult leader who killed his wife, and then the two of them woofed off together to Hawaii to get married because they believed that zombies were ruining their lives. It's long. Safe to say this, the, the rapture that they were waiting for, that came and went in 2020, and we're all here. I'm here, you're here. I guess it didn't happen for them either. But those children, they were missing for the longest time, and then they turned up dead in his backyard. And hence, we're now at the trial. So the only surviving family, the grandparents of those children, Larry and Kay Woodcock, have a lot to say about this. And they are driving or flying every single time there's a court hearing, and they did so today, all the way across the country, Louisiana, all the way up to Idaho. And they were there, and I asked them, does it feel satisfying to at least have Chad and Lori know you are there and you are not leaving this case? And here's the answer. Today was actually the first time we've been in the courtroom with both of them. So that was pretty weird. I don't know how to describe it. Just maybe, I don't know. It just felt strange. And, um, you know, Lori was six feet from us and Chad was about 12 feet from us. And um, a lot of stuff goes through your mind when you're sitting there looking at the back of them. You what know, does what go through done, your mind, Larry? Oh, what goes through my mind is that it was nice sitting there and seeing what Mother Nature, the toll Mother Nature takes on people. But it was also nice to see that uh, it, also has, it also has the consequences on Chad and Lori as it has on us. Uh, the only difference is I don't have chains on my ankles and uh, Kay wears nice makeup and nice clothes. And I, I respect what the court offers for Chad and for Lori, but uh, I can see a lot of difference in them. I think th that it's... Mother Nature has taken its course. You know, I know that when we've talked in the past, you've just been, you've just been wanting this to be over, understandably so. And you know, we're sort of in the final stretch towards April third, the beginning of trial. But then, you know, there's Chad's lawyer saying that he doesn't think they're going to be ready for trial. What do you think this portends for Chad's effort to sever himself off from Lori's trial? What do you think is going to happen? I don't think it's going to be severed. Uh, I think Chad's attorney got up in front of the court years ago, yeah. said he they were, said that they he were did. ready to go. So to go. now all I'm hearing is is excuses and crying. And uh, to me, the only thing I see them doing is setting up appeal, because I don't think that that they have a defense for what happened. Uh, just my humble, you know, opinion. I, I don't know, but I'm not an attorney, don't want to be an attorney, and I'm certainly not going to put myself in the place of an attorney. But I got a truckload of common sense, and I just, I don't see anything th that prevents Chad and Lori's attorney from appealing, you know, they can sit up there and and make excuses and and downgrade the uh, the police department and 
and the, the, the district attorney's office and all of their incapabilities, but they're not not willing to sit there and say, well, we've had opportunities, but we were just too damn lazy to go do it. Larry and Kay Woodcock speaking with me exclusively today about their time in that courtroom. Uh, they will be back. They are not going to miss a moment of these hearings, whether they're severed or not. And we're supposed to get that decision in writing from the judge at another time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.